Honeysuckle is another excellent attractor for hummingbirds. Uh, here, we just set up a trellis along a fence line and just let them go to town. Actually, the one here has really only been in the ground for two years and it's already. So let's talk a little bit about hummingbird feeders. Um, this is a hummingbird feeder that we currently use. We've used uh, multiple different types in the past and uh, the, I don't know, for some reason, the, for us, the ones that have the, uh, the flower stems that pop out seem to work better for us than, uh, than the ones that are just flat on the surface. Um, also, we installed a little moat on the top of it. It, it just hooks. It hooks from the top to the uh, to the bottom of the wire there and you just fill it full of water and what that does is it keeps the ants out of your uh, your sugar water for your your hummingbird feeder in the spring late spring when a lot of your blooms are coming out we have right now wisteria we have our honeysuckle we have all these flowers in bloom you'll probably not see as many hummingbirds on the feeder because they are busy working with those. Wisteria is an excellent choice for uh, attracting hummingbirds. Uh, we have it set up on a trellis just right outside our kitchen window. So when you're doing the, uh, the inevitable dishes, we, uh, we get a, to view the hummingbirds feeding out of the feeder. Foxgloves are an excellent way to attract hummingbirds to your yard. Uh, the roses also help. So a really important step that you want to do with your bird feeder is every time you change out the water, the sugar water, or uh, refill it, you really need to give it a good cleaning. Uh, we just use soap and water and a bottle brush works really well. Uh, clean it out. It helps keep your uh, hummingbirds super healthy. So to summarize, if you really want to attract some hummingbirds in your yard, throw out a feeder or two, make sure the water is nice and clean, and hey, plant some plants that really attract them. They love it.